Are you looking for some insight into transferring money before a divorce? Understanding the legal and financial repercussions is essential for anyone navigating this challenging situation. This could be the information that saves you from financial distress. Let's cut to the chase. You may be wondering, can my spouse transfer money before a divorce? Yes, it is possible under UK law. However, doing so doesn't change the eventual outcome in the divorce settlement. If you're hoping to gain an upper hand, you might be in for a surprise. When going through a divorce, it's key to understand the term matrimonial pot. This refers to assets, including money, acquired during the marriage, which are taken into account when calculating the financial settlement. So what's in this pot? It typically includes the family home, pensions, savings, investments and life insurance. The starting point for division is usually 50-50, but this can change based on individual circumstances. The prospect of hiding assets might seem tempting. However, beware, it's a high-risk game that could land you in legal hot water. Courts have broad discretionary powers and can adjust the settlement if they find that you're reducing the matrimonial's part value. This could be done by spending excessively, transferring money to family members or hiding your assets. If you're found guilty, the court can charge you with contempt of court, leading to fines and even imprisonment. Now that we've established the risks, let's talk about protecting your assets. If you suspect that your ex-spouse might be transferring money unfairly, consider taking legal actions such as obtaining freezing orders or non-party disclosure orders. You should consult a solicitor to guide you through this process. Remember it's crucial to have the other party's consent to gather confidential information. It's not admissible in court otherwise. One way to safeguard your financial interests in a divorce is by obtaining a consent order. This legal document ensures a clean financial break, meaning that neither party can claim future earnings of the other. Without a consent order, you're financially tied to each other, even after the decree absolute is recorded. What if you suspect your ex-spouse is hiding assets? Fortunately, there are several legal options available. You can ask a solicitor to draw up an order for non-party disclosure, apply for a freezing order, ask for an avoidance of disposition order, seek an ad back or even consider a search order. Always remember to seek professional advice when dealing with such matters. Remember that transferring money before a divorce might seem like a good idea initially, but it's more likely to backfire, leading to legal complications and potential financial penalties. Transparency, honest communication and professional guidance can go a long way in ensuring a fair divorce settlement. If you feel like there's been some foul play going on and you want some fast professional advice, you may want to chat to an online solicitor like Just Answer. They currently have a £5 trial and you can ask as many questions as you like. Best of luck with it all and I'll leave a link just below this video for you.